Hey, what is up guys, Colossnex here, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the SpoxFit Exercise Ball Kit. Now this was a product that was actually sent to me by the company. They said, hey, we'll send you this ball for free if you open it up, set it up, and make a review video out of it. So here you are. So no matter how this video turns out, thank you SpoxFit for the free exercise ball. And thank you for shipping it to Churchill free of charge. That, that must have been a chip out of the budget. Okay, we open it up and, uh, oh, it looks like a poster. Okay, so that's actually pretty neat. The product comes with a poster with like a lot of different exercises here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I wish it was 10. It would be so much easier to count. So the poster has 36 different exercises on it. So that's quite a variety of things you could do with an exercise ball. I actually had no idea you could do this much with the ball, but I guess a lot of times you can just use an exercise ball as a chair, right? So. This says that you need bands to do some of these exercises. So maybe there's bands in here. If there is, then perfect. I can do all these exercises. So right off the bat, this is good for beginners because you're not just getting a product, you're getting a product with a bunch of different examples on how it's used. Instead of something, you know, you buy something new because you think it's gonna be good and then you don't know how to use it and then it ends up collecting dust somewhere. Okay, Zach, stop talking about the freaking poster. They didn't send you a ball so you can talk about their poster. The next thing we've got here is Oh wow, okay. Tubes with straps. <laughs> okay, oh I see, okay. I'm a little bit simple. It's actually like three in the, it's actually like three in the morning, so okay. So we've actually got some bands. So I've never seen anything like this before. It's got a couple carabiners on it. And then uh, the end. It comes with two of them, both the same. Not really sure how these ends work together yet. Maybe you clip them down here. I don't know. And oh, Oh, comes with a pump. That's awesome. You know, when I brought the box up here and turned the camera on, I'm like, I'm totally gonna have to pump this thing up. And I didn't have a pump with me, so I was I was gonna, you know, cut to a little montage of me looking for a pump and filling it up. But it looks like I can skip that gag because they included a pump. That's actually super clutch. I don't know how many companies would include a pump in their product. Now I have a pump for other things, like, I don't know, get another exercise ball. There's a red end and a blue end. And uh, since this isn't a car battery, I'm not really sure what that means here. And then we've got the nozzles on the other side. Next up, uh, we got measuring tape. And in this plastic bag, we have a ring. What is a ring? What is the ring for? It looks like you put the ring underneath the ball to stop it from rolling around. That's kind of cool. I've never actually seen that before. So the ring gets filled up with there too, I assume, because it has a little plug here. And last but not least, we can assume this is the ball, because if it's not a ball, this uh, exercise ball kit is in serious trouble. Here we are. Exercise ball with no air in it. Could also pass as a Ninja Turtle shell at Halloween. I just need a Michelangelo eye mask to match. Cowbunga. Okay, let's pump this thing up with some air. Okay, air is coming out the other end. Keep putting air into it and sucking it back out. Okay, maybe this is supposed to go on the other end. Okay, blue end, good. Okay, we're looking pretty, pretty inflated here. Okay, we got some uh, instructions on the side here. Okay, we were right about the blue, the blue nozzle, that's good. Pump the ball at about 80% of the way. Insert the plug and allow it to sit for 24 hours. Pump the ball up to its full diameter. Insert the plug and let it sit for another day. Okay, so uh, I'm just filming this review video today. So. I'm just gonna be testing it out. So if something goes wrong or whatever, that's on me. That's not on the company because I'm supposed to be letting this sit for a period of time and I'm not. Wrap the ball with a perimeter tape. Measure to check that it is properly inflated. So I guess that's where this measuring tape comes in handy. Okay, so I'm gonna take the pump out. 
and you're gonna put the pin in. So if you wanna take the pin out, one of these guys with the hooks on it, these guys make it easy to pull out the pin. You just hook that in there and pop it out. Now we're gonna inflate this ring. Okay, ring and ball. Okay, next we're just gonna test out a couple exercises on this guy. Okay, we're gonna start with the plank. Let's do the side lateral raise. That's actually some pretty good tension. Okay, okay. Let's try this thing. This is not bad tension actually. I guess I can do a fly while I'm here. Oh yeah. So the cables actually work pretty good. I'm assuming if you wanted to increase the tension, you just get rid of these middle bands. You could probably mess around with this to get more or less tension. Let's do one more exercise. Oh yeah. What I like about doing uh, exercise ball squats against the wall is that with the ball supporting you from behind, it really allows you to get that depth and work on building up leg strength. You don't have to worry so much about balance. So it's a good re rehabilitative exercise. I see you see this done a lot, physiotherapy. Also, does does this make me a boss that I just I just pick up the whole tripod when I want to aim the camera myself? Just the whole thing, you know? It's like a it's like a giant selfie stick, you know? Really, it's just a really long handle. Oh yeah. Hang on, turn that like that. Oh my goodness, yo. Tripods are actually just low key selfie sticks. What? Okay, so that's gonna do it for my unboxing of the Spoxfit exercise ball. Uh, initial reactions to the ball. It smells like new rubber, that's nice. Um, but seriously, it feels like pretty good uh, texture. So only time will tell how long the thing holds up. Um, and you know, as for the quality of the ball, my first uh, initial reaction is that it's good. It can hold my big, beautiful body on it without immediately exploding, which is always a fear of mine. What I really like about this ball is that it's not just a ball, right? It's a kit. So it comes with the pump, it comes with the bands, it comes with something to hold the ball. So it easily could have been something the company charged extra for, uh, but they included it in the kit, which is awesome. So thank you, Spoxfit, so much for sending me this product. Uh, I would recommend it. It's a nice little kit. This is actually something I think I'm gonna use because you can use it in any room. It comes with a you know a list of exercises if you're you're not feeling creative or you just don't know what to do, and it expands your variety of exercises. So if you're at home and you're trying to hit your chest, you can do your push-ups on the floor, and you can do push-ups on the ball, and you can take the bands, and you can do flies, and you can do a chest press. So just with this kit, you've already added. You know, you for sure doubled the exercises that you could do at home. And for the final test, the most important test, everything about this product lies in this one single test. Does it bounce and make a cool rubber bouncy noise? It does. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you like it, subscribe if you haven't yet, that would help me grow my channel immensely. Klaus next out.